Hello and welcome to this session. I am Raghav and today we are going to see how to ignore tests in TestNG. So we are going to go very basic step by step and see how to ignore tests. We will also see how to ignore all the tests in a class and how to ignore all the tests inside a package. So let's get started and I will go to my Eclipse here and here I will create a new class. So I am going to my demo package. You can create a class anywhere. I will say new class and here I will say this is test ng ignore demo and finish so here I have got a class and I will quickly create a function here I will say public void test1 and inside this function I will print a statement and I will say I am inside test1 and to make it a test ng test I have to give the annotation so here at the top of the test I will give the test ng annotation at test and I will import it from org test ng dot annotations so I have got this test created I will copy this and I will paste it again to create another test so I will paste it here again and this I will say this is test2 and here I will print I am inside test2. Now in testng if you are using testng in your Java framework whenever you want to ignore some particular test due to any reason you can put the annotation at ignore and make sure you implement or import it from the testng annotation. So we also have this in JUnit but we have to import it from the org testng dot annotation and here this is imported and here you can see this is imported here and here we have put the annotation now you can put it at the top or you can also put it after the add test annotation both ways it will work and now if I run this I will say right click run as test ng test and let us see what happens so do you see only test 2 is executed and not test 1 and also if I go to the console you can see we are running only test number 2 and test 1 is ignored so this is how you can ignore a test and just in case if you want to ignore all the tests inside a class you can put this annotation at class level so I will remove it from here and just at the top of the class I will say at ignore and control spacebar to auto complete and I will take it from here and yes so if I run this there should be no execution of any test inside this class so I can say right click run as test ng test and you can see there is no execution so nothing got executed okay and of course uh, you will be running it from test ng dot xml from this file which we have already seen in the earlier sessions so if you want to ignore all the tests inside some particular class you can give the at ignore annotation and then run your test from test ng dot xml and that particular class will be ignored now you can also ignore all the tests or all the packages or all the classes inside a particular package how to do that so for that you will have to create a java file by the name package hyphen info now one of the ways to create it is you can manually create a file under your package or you can also go to your package and or you can go to your uh, parent package here and i will right click and go to new and go to package and here I will give the same name which I already have so during a new package creation we get this option to create package hyphen info dot java file and you can check this one so normally it is unchecked you can check this one and also if you have already created a package you can still add it by creating a new package and giving the same name as the package name here so I'm giving it the name demo which I already have here and I have checked create package hyphen info dot java and finish so you can see it has created this package hyphen info dot java for us and here at the package I will again say at ignore and from test ng I have taken this ignore okay so now if I run any class under this package every test will be ignored so let us see I will go back to my uh, test ng ignore demo class and right click run as test ng test and you can see nothing got executed no test found and you can see we have not 
edit ignore in the class it is only at the package info.java and of course you can do this now you can check from any other class as well for example I will go to uh, let us say testng priority demo this we did earlier and if I try to run this I will say run as testng test and still you can see nothing got executed because this is under the same package so this is how you can ignore tests in Java and I hope this session was very useful for you I will suggest that you do some more hands-on so that you get this concept very very clearly and in case you face any challenges you can write it and send it to me and I will try to answer you as soon as I can. I will meet you in the next episode. Thank you for watching.